Hast du sein Gesicht gesehen? Ich kann mich nicht erinnern. Dann? Lauf. Hello YouTube, hello everyone. Uh, today we are going to check the Dehancer Pro for Premiere Pro. Dehancer is a film emulation plugin for color grading, what brings you the digital uh, look into the um, film look, cinematic look and for real. Let's show you what you can do with this uh, plugin and show you what, what is this plugin inside the Premiere Pro. Short disclosure, this video is not sponsored by Dehancer, but they did provided me the plugin for this review. So let's jump in Premiere Pro and I'll show you what can be done with this plugin. After installing the Dehancer Pro, you go to your plugin and drag and drop into, into the footage. This have more many tools, input, film, expand, print, color head, film grain, halation, bloom, vignette, vignette, film pref, gateways, false color, output and loot generator. So in the input you have to uh, check what color space you like, Rec 709 or Rec 22 or Cineon film log, this I like, look how it's changing the color direct, how it's changing the image or you can choose your camera. I was shooting here with Canon uh, EOS R5 in C-Log3 and I go here and I look for my camera and Canon EOS R5 Log3 Cinema Gamut exactly with what I was shooting this footage and now you see it's a Rec 709 you go here to the exposure give a little bit down and can give more warm more cold we leave a little bit warm tint compensation Compensation, the fringe, you can enable the fringe. Yeah, to the film. Here to the film, you enable, and uh, here are 63 film emulation presets Konica Centuria 100 DNP. Look what nice look. Kodak Vision 3 500D. We leave to Kodak Vision 3. 250D and here you can um, push pull this means to give intensity to the to the film emulation preset we leave like this expand here you can play with the blacks with the white point normal or luma uh, to the print here is very interesting again this using like a paper printing uh, kind of emulation uh, Cineon film log Fujifilm 3513 Kodak 2383 this is very nice and Kodak Endura glossy paper this I like much but for now let's take Kodak 2383 print film this is very nice and here you can adjust target white check out if you give to 100 give uh, the whites become more white but we leave a little bit more filmic kind of look to the zero exposure tonal contrast color density when you press color density is give one intensity to the color saturation is 100 percent 
Yeah. Um, what I like very much to this plugin is film grain. The film grain in this plugin is not like an overlay film grain to, to put an overlay with grain. This is build, built into the footage. You can, uh, we enable now, and you go to the size, to the amount, the how much amount of grain you want, film resolution, to the zero is become softer, to the 100 become more sharper, entire image, even the noise, but we live in the middle. Uh, here to the shadows you chose uh, how much amount of uh, grain you, you want to be in the shadows to the mid, uh, mid tones the uh, same to by default came to 75 and look the mid tones are skin tones and uh, are too much now and you can just get rid of like this and film resolution if I bring to the 100 become more sharper yeah we leave like this because to the 75 is too much and um, highlights how much amount of um, grain you need in the in the highlights to chroma to when you press to zero you have um, you the grain is uh, is black but when you go to 100 the grain uh, st uh, start to have uh, patterns of uh, color like a bad camera when you're filming with high ISO and have this noise with colors here negative analog negative positive to the positive become less grainy but I like to keep negative to bring the footage back like this film grain I like very much this uh, film grain from this plugin then is the halation the halation give you we enable now gives you the let's bring this bigger the halation gives you uh, around the edges one kind of sort of halation imperfection of the image how was the old film cameras bloom to bloom is uh, something similar with uh, black promised is blooming the, the a little bit the highlights what i would like to be improved was nice to be a little bit more stronger for example here check out without bloom with bloom without bloom with bloom Vignette is also very nice in this um, plugin. You go to the feather, you just close the feather. Ah, we must enable this feather of the vignette. It's nice because you can um, create the size little like this, and then aspect ratio. You can, uh, you can, you can choose a part of the image where you want to be the vignette. Not like uh, this, what is built in Adobe Premiere Pro. What just the edges of the of the image uh, become darker or wider. How you want to use the the vignette, and uh, then you give the feather a little bit. And now I put will be lighting just my subject this is nice because if for example if you want lighting something on the on the left side of the image you just can simple move to the left and then give feather and you illuminate in the left side of it's nice this vignette uh, from here is nice film breath is uh, actually a sort of imperfection in the image with color changing um, with like pulsing pulsing with colors with lighting with exposure decrease increase like uh, to give this aspect of uh, old film uh, and you can choose the period I think is about seconds 
the exposure, how much you want to be, tonal contrast, color. The gateway the same, gives you a little kind of pulsing on the image with zooming, with rotating to emulate a kind of filming how these old cameras, film cameras, was uh, was captured the, the image with imperfection of the shakiness, zooming, pulsing and so on. You chose here, you enable, chose here, transition, transition, so, rotation and impact. And now you'll have this little shakiness and imperfection of the image. The false color, I never use it, but is a good tool. Output, this is total impact. This is to, to choose how much you want from all the settings what you did. This is like global impact, global uh, adjustment, and of course maximal. And here is the LUT generator. Here you can uh, actually export a LUT and you use, you can export a LUT and you use uh, all the settings what you made and the next uh, videos what you what you have the next footage do not stay to color grade from the zero again this is cool it's very nice and maybe you wonder if this plugin working on the 8-bit footage it's working it's working very well and uh, let's directly uh, directly check now and now to the 8-bit color this is the footage from the Canon 250D and this full HD with Canon EOS R5 I was shooting in 4K, that's why I must scale to 200 and uh, here the same, 200 and um, yeah, we apply now the the plugin, the Hanser plugin inside and ah, forgot to show you something, uh, as you can see it's very flat, this is because I was create a picture profile for, for Canon 250D uh, similar to look similar like a uh, C-Log3 from Canon EOS R5 this picture profile is much much better than uh, old cine style now a couple years ago somebody gave uh, a picture profile for this kind of cameras with 8-bit for, for the SLRs and I was creating this um, picture profile to give a similar look to be much better than uh, uh, than cine style picture profile i will show you in the next videos now let's cross over this okay we open the dehancer the same we go to input we chose cine on film log if we chose the camera we cannot because we not have the canon 250d here and you can choose another camera if you want for example Canon 200 uh, C200 log 3 look and give you the the good results but let's actually choose um, a color space Cinenon film log for example and here now you play with the exposures a little bit down temperature to tint the fringe we go to the film and here we chose you can actually go to look for one we chose the same like in Canon EOS R5 and uh, here push pull to give intensity or give like this intensity uh, expand normal luma black point white point film resolution film grain we have to reduce the, the grain because it's too much especially in mid-tones highlights we leave like this chroma to zero Shadows, we can leave like this, but in mid-tones, where is the, the face a little bit down? It's 
So this is the the plugin. I uh, honestly love it. It's a very very nice plugin. Uh, very strong. What I would like to be changed a little bit, and maybe the enhancer can put inside one more thing. I would like to have this uh, kind of um, film burn. This with little burning effect, like like film burn, because. This is missing from uh, from this uh, plugin. I feel that it's missing. If they give film burn and a little bit more powerful bloom, will be will be will be cool. Um, but film burn are, are be nice to they give. If you are interested about this plugin, you can check the link in the description. And there is a code promo Angelo P, and you get 10% uh, off for this plugin okay thank you very much and um, see you in the next video bye bye